What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny 2. In today's video we have some Destiny drama and it comes in the form of dungeons and the cost of various bundles for the Witch Queen expansion. So if you want to find out more, be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rate it down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. We are fast approaching 100,000 subs here on the channel. So if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, be sure to hit that red button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss an update. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Another day and another Destiny drama. Now dungeons inside Destiny 2 are some of the best aspirational pieces of content. We had the Shattered Throne which launched alongside Forsaken, we had the Pit of Heresy that launched alongside Shadowkeep and then we had the Prophecy which launched alongside the Season of Arrivals. Now the general theme when it comes to dungeon is that they normally launch alongside either a major DLC or a season. Now the Prophecy was a free dungeon that was provided alongside a season but didn't actually form part of the season itself. But if we put that dungeon to one side, this the Shattered Throne and Pit of Heresy which both launched alongside major DLCs. Now as things currently stand Bungie have a very aggressive content plan for the 30th anniversary and also Witch Queen and throughout year 5. We have a new dungeon in December this year as part of the anniversary pack and we have two throughout the course of year 5. Now as they stated in the Witch Queen reveal we'll be getting either a dungeon or a raid every three months throughout year 5 so there will always be a brand new aspirational piece of content to dive into regardless of when you choose to jump in or out of Destiny 2 throughout year 5. Now as for the quote unquote drama surrounding dungeons, it relates specifically to this post on Reddit courtesy of our Bungie community manager Cosmo. Now he goes on to say that we've seen some debate around the new dungeon content and wanted to clarify how it will be delivered throughout the year. So if you have the digital deluxe edition of the Witch Queen, you'll receive the expansion, all four seasons for next year and two dungeons. If you get the standard edition, you can still upgrade to the deluxe edition to get the dungeons later on. We will also be offering a separate way for you to purchase the dungeons in future but these will not be included in the season passes and they'll share more information closer to the time when the content is set to go live. Now well, naturally a post like that can create a knee jerk reaction with a lot of the community unhappy that they have to fork out extra money for the deluxe edition just to get their hands on some new aspirational pieces of content. As we said at the very beginning of the video, dungeons previously with the exception of the Prophecy have always been launched alongside a major DLC and form part of that entire content drop. But as that's not going to be the case throughout year 5 and they're going to form their own bundle, if you haven't got the deluxe edition then you'll either have to upgrade to it or buy the dungeons as an extra bundle later on. Now the standard edition of the Witch Queen will cost you $40 if you pre-order it right now, with the Witch Queen Deluxe Edition setting you back just under $80. Now it's important to remember that Destiny is now a free to play game, so other than the seasons that you can either purchase individually for $10 or via the DLCs or Deluxe Editions that you can purchase each and every year, you could in theory play Destiny 2 without spending any money whatsoever. Now ultimately everyone's view on this will slightly vary depending on A how much you spend on Destiny throughout the course of the year versus B how much time you spend playing the game itself. If we take a fairly invested player that say plays Destiny for roughly a thousand hours a year, if you're spending 80 bucks throughout the course of that year to get all the seasons and all the DLC and all the aspirational activities that go along with it, then effectively that player is paying eight cents an hour for all the content that they're playing throughout the course of the year. All in all that's pretty good value for money and there aren't many other pieces of digital content that you consume that offer you that amount of value for money. Now naturally issues arise and it always comes down to communication and how the bundles are presented to us as consumers upon the launch of the Witch Queen reveal earlier this year. As we said earlier in the video, normally dungeons come alongside major DLCs or seasons, with the only mention of this throughout the course of the reveal being that we'll get two dungeons throughout the course of year 5, with either a raid or a dungeon every three months. Now in terms of what the standard version of the Witch Queen offers, this will provide the new campaign, brand new weapon crafting, a new glaive weapon archetype, a brand new raid, new exotic gear and the new 6 player activity. And for pre-order bonuses you'll get the throne world exotic ghost shell, the enigma exotic emote alongside a legendary emblem. In terms of the deluxe edition this offers the exotic SMG, catalyst and ornament, access to seasons 16, 17, 18 and 19, two dungeons released throughout year 5 and the throne world exotic sparrow. Now an important thing to consider alongside this is how does this deluxe edition stack up against every other deluxe edition for every other IP that you've ever purchased. Whenever I think about deluxe editions I think about additional consumables or cosmetics that you can use in game with very few deluxe editions actually offering additional content exclusive to the deluxe edition itself. All in all it's a potentially unprecedented move but be sure to let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Now as we touched upon earlier in the video all in all 
For someone that can put in over a thousand hours a year, I don't think a deluxe edition is bad value for money. And I do appreciate that not every player can afford it and invest that amount of time in Destiny 2. And an important thing to remember is that all the content that Bungie produces is never created for free. And whilst Destiny is a free to play game, it's important for Bungie to still create revenue from it in order for them to create amazing experiences for us to enjoy. Now an important thing Bungie need to consider is what other exclusive items form part of the deluxe edition and aren't part of the standard edition. If we take a look at the Bungie website, the deluxe edition states we get an exotic SMG catalyst and ornament with access to seasons 16, 17, 18 and 19, the two dungeons released in year 5 that we've discussed already, alongside a throne world exotic sparrow. Now throughout the deluxe editions, including the 30th anniversary bundle deluxe edition, these both mention the exotic SMG catalyst and ornament. Now it's an interesting area of discussion here, because is this weapon locked behind the fact that this is a deluxe edition, or is it available as part of season 16? Now normally with the standard edition, you do also normally get the first season for that particular DLC, so in Shadowkeep you got access to Season of the Undying, and in Beyond Light you got access to Season of the Hunt. It doesn't state that here on the website, so is that exotic SMG in fact a DLC? DLC exotic or is that a season pass exotic? Now if the exotic SMG is a DLC exotic and the catalyst SMG and ornament can only be earned through the deluxe edition then this can create potentially murky waters. I think it's an important thing Bungie need to clarify because dungeons being one thing which are aspirational activities but potentially locking a weapon behind the deluxe edition which could potentially create a pay to win experience need to be avoided. Now all in all I feel these are great both discussion points as always guys be sure to let me know your thoughts down below and in the meantime we'll push Bungie for some clarification not just on the dungeons and their bundles but also the exotic SMG too. So there we have it guys a quick look at today's Destiny drama. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content and if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2 be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and I will catch you all again very soon.